Today, we're getting to know the new Roswell Pro Audio Mini K67X. Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today we have the brand new Roswell Pro Audio Mini K67X in the studio, and we're gonna get to know this microphone. The Mini K67X is voiced a little bit differently than the Mini K47 and the Mini K87. It's based on the K67 capsule, but it is tweaked in that special Roswell Pro Audio way. It also features a transformer, which means we'll get to capture some nice harmonic saturation. So we're gonna do what we always do when we get a new piece of gear, and that's put it on every instrument we possibly can, right? Correct. And first up, drums. Got the Ludwig Classic Maples, 20 inch kick, 13 rack, 18 inch floor tom, going big on this one, but we've got some towels on them to deaden them up. The same thing with the Superphonic Snare, got a bunch of uh, paper towels taped to the top of it, nice and tubby. Got all Peisty Pies, and for the main attraction, the single Mini K67X, about, we're roughly four-ish feet in front of the kit, and this is about five feet up and it is pointed, oops, I just moved it, I just wrecked the whole session, directly at the snare. This is gonna be the entire drum sound. No kick mic, no overhead, no toms, no nothing. We're gonna get our entire sound with this single mic. Let's go have a listen. Here's the acoustic setup, and we have the mic pointing about 15th fret, maybe six inches. We'll see what it sounds like. For the bass, we're using one of my favorite amps, which is the Polytone Mini Brute 3, a good old Fender Jazz with some Aguilar pickups. And we have the Mini K67X about eight inches back from the amp, and it's pointed directly at the center of the cone. Let's go check it out. For guitar, we're doing a couple of things. We might position the mic a little forward or backward, depending on the tone we're after. And we have the OCD glove to add more creamier tones. We'll see what we get. Using one mic for a piano is a challenge because we have to find an even tone, right, between the lows and the highs. So this is what we think works the best and let's find out. All right, there's all our instruments. Now let's put them all together and see what it sounds like. All right, there you go. The little ditty we wrote and recorded with this single microphone. I have to say that I'm very impressed with it on all the instruments. One thing that stuck out to me right away though on the drums, with the single mic, sometimes it's hard to get balance of like kick and snare, especially get that thump that kind of hits you with the kick drum and still get some of the body of the snare. 
And I think this did a nice job, just a few feet out in yes. front of the kit with the single mic. It got a pretty cool drum sound. Yeah. What yeah. do you think of it on guitars? Guitars was great. Had a nice mid-range push and uh, still had some silk. Acoustic and electric was awesome. Yeah, the acoustic I really liked because it was round, but it still had that like like a silky airiness mm -hmm. on the top of it. Uh, just very nice to listen yeah. to. The bass was great too. Yes. This is a great mic. I think it really rounds out the whole Mini K series. Like if you had a 47, a 67X, and an 87, you could pretty much record anything you need and have three nice colors or nice different ways to record any source you need to. So highly recommend this microphone. We're gonna go do some more recording with it. That's right. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Happy recording.